I'm now giving you a feature which I worked so hard on. By far the feature with the most time investment from my side. I didn't measure it exactly, but somewhere around 500 to 1000 hours over the course of the last year. And it was time well spent because it will change the way you do your YouTube SEO. How do these three advantages sound like? First of all, it's easier to optimize your videos now. Then you have a higher chance to rank overall and it's more effective to optimize for multiple search terms now. Well, all these advantages you can get by turning on one switch. Here in the keyword tool, you go to the menu and then this switch, you turn it to version 2021. Let's start with the first advantage. It's easier to optimize your videos now. Well, to give you a reference, let's quickly switch back to the old version and then in the number three search tab, when you search for a search term, then you will see that the relevance grade is what the new version will update. But for the old one, you see all the time that our goal is to optimize 100% for that video. And here for this search term, even for the 100%, you only get a D rating. But if you switch to the new version, then usually it is the case, like it is in this case, you can get a better grade as well as you don't want to go to 100% anymore. You only need 88% in this case in order to achieve an A grade. So it makes it easier for you because we don't have to aim for maximum relevance anymore. And of course, to achieve this relevance score, we then go to the fourth step where we as always enter the title description and tags below as well. Here I loaded some metadata from a very old video of mine. And this one is still optimized 100%. But here we can now see an A grade, 88% if you remember, and a B grade even lower. As always, your goal is to get a B or better grade here. This whole tab now follows new, more precise rules for optimizing your metadata, but you don't have to worry about it too much, even though you don't know everything in detail yet, all you need to do is optimize your videos as you always do and then follow the tips that Morning Fame now gives you. Here for the title, for example, the tip says that we should write a creative title for a higher click-through rate. So what I can do here is, for example, to add YouTube traffic sources that blow up channels comma explained. And this way you can see here, it went down to 80% only. Of course, we added something as we always know that reduces the relevance score, but we don't have to go to 100% anymore at, or close to it. We only need to go as far as at least reaching a B grade. And as the tip now says, the title is well optimized. Plus we now have an addition that makes people more intrigued to click on the video. This new freedom that we gain in order to write more creative video titles actually goes far beyond the three advantages that I'm explaining you today. It goes as far as triggering the suggested videos algorithm, but more about that in future videos. All you need to remember in order to get up to speed to work with this new formula is that you still have to reach at least a B or better grade for relevance and just do it as you always did and then pay attention to these tips here and here and of course down below for the tags as well. These tips now make it so easy for you to get your metadata just right. I worked really hard on them so that they in detail, depending on what you have entered so far, give you precise instructions what to do next with your metadata. So hopefully it is self-explanatory for you. All right, onto the second advantage, you get a higher chance to rank. You know, when we look at these grades here, they are now super sophisticated, truly. What I actually did, most of these hundreds and hundreds of hours that I invested into the feature is to do a huge data study in order to reverse engineer the YouTube search algorithm. Of course, you know, the YouTube search algorithm sorts the results 
by relevance. When we are here at YouTube search and open the filters, we see that videos are sorted by relevance by default. But the question is this relevance sorting. What is the formula behind it? What videos get sorted to the top ranking at the top, right? And this is what I reverse engineered. I now know precisely how it works. And all that information, all that new knowledge is now baked into the tool, which allows me to make this grading super precise, so precise that I know the chances to rank for your videos and made sure compared to the old version that you now have a higher chance than before. And finally, number three, you can now more effectively optimize your videos for multiple search terms at the same time. Well, the thing that we used until now in order to optimize our videos for multiple search terms is most of the times our tags, right? The problem with tags is though, since more than a year, YouTube is writing right at the tag section when you edit your videos or upload your videos. Tags play a minimal role in helping viewers find your videos. So that obviously also includes for making your videos rank higher in search. And my data study where I reverse engineered the algorithm also confirmed the tags do almost nothing. I will explain a little bit more in detail in future videos why it seems that tags actually do have an effect sometimes, but it really are not your tags that have the impact. But if tags are not helpful anymore, of course, the question is, what is the alternative? And since we always try to rank our videos for multiple search terms using our tags, well, I have a more effective way to do exactly the same. And that more effective approach is the highlight tags feature. When you turn it on, you, as you always did before, this feature was existing before as well, it's now a little bit upgraded, you take the search terms that you have collected in your tags and include them in your description. You can see in pink underlines here how I already included some of them, but you can also see by, from this list that some words are still missing that we have down in the tags below. For example here, YouTube tips. YouTube tips, this search term, my video is currently optimized 18% for this search term. And my goal is to get this number up, of course. So what I do here is, since the word tips is missing, which I can also see here below that tips should be still included into my description, I find a spot where it fits well, so the text is still readable here, for example. And now we also see it is in pink underline included now in my description. And when we scroll down to the tag again, here, YouTube tips, it's now at 40% optimized. So that means we still use our tags to collect related search terms to the main target search term that we optimize our video for, and then take the words that are inside those tags and put them, include them in the description. And this style is actually many, many times more effective than if you were only using tags for the same purpose. So no worries about tags being dead. I mean, we have more effective ways to achieve the same. We really don't need them. And now to give you an important overview, these three advantages that I just explained you, you get right away when you turn the switch on. Of course, always switch back if you want to compare to the old results, if you are not very comfortable yet with the new rules. If you have any questions about them, feel free to reach out to me, of course. But I have to say, these three advantages are only the beginning. There is so much more to unpack because of everything that I learned with this reverse engineering study, this is just the tip of the iceberg, this new feature. I will explain you in future videos how to make use of these changes, the freedom, the different way you optimize. It's really incredible, stay tuned for that. So I didn't want to wait until those tutorials are ready because it's too powerful, this new feature. You should make use of it right away, but stay tuned. There's so much more to come to really explain you the impact this change really has. Cheers, my friends.